You're one of the young guys. You, you need the uh, the bye week right now. Or would you rather keep playing? Um, I actually I really appreciate the bye week. Um, I think it'll be a good time to get our legs underneath us and to uh, get ready for Utah State. So I, I'm really excited about this week. Did the team need it? Do you think at this point? Um, yeah. I mean, we've we've all kind of you know been a little tired a little bit. I think um, I think a bye week is good for us. I think it's I think it'll, it'll be healthy. You're four zero now. How's the team perform versus the expectations of further way through the season? Uh, I mean, four zero. That's that's pretty good. You know, we couldn't uh, we couldn't ask for any better. Uh, we're just you know trying to get better each week, and uh, right right now we've we've been doing pretty well. When you walk across campus, what do you hear from other students or fans you see around? What what kind of things are they saying to you? Oh, you know, just you know, great game on Saturday, high fives, you know, all that good stuff. They're uh, they're always supportive. So they talk about twelve and zero and rankings and that kind of stuff? Uh, yeah, they mentioned a little bit, but I mean, we're just, you know, we're always focused on the next game. That's that's our focus. What were your overall thoughts on the offensive performance against Virginia? Um, well, uh, I, I think we did okay. We did all right. Taysom, you know, Taysom's man, he had a great game. Uh, there's probably a few things here and there we need to fix, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll just try and do better for Utah State. I think we did okay, but we could always do better. Is it good for the team's confidence to, have to play from behind and be challenged a little bit because you're going wire to wire in the other games? Mm, for sure. I think it uh, kind of just, you know, showed who we are as a team. Uh, you know, the other games, we we were always the ones that are up. But this game, you know, we kind of had to fight a little bit. And I, I think that was good for us. I think it was good to see where we are. What was the mentality at halftime being down for the first time this season? Um, it was definitely just do what, do what you can do. Do what you know how to do. You know, do what we've been doing. Because I, I think we probably, you know, probably could have done a little better, and I think in the second half we were able to do that. Could you? Did you notice after the game that you had played less plays than you guys had in the previous three games? Was that was that pretty obvious? <clears throat> um, for the other guys, the other guys, the other offense linemen were like, "Yeah, I mean, so I, you know, I'm still got some energy, but for me, I was tired. I was like, man, I don't know. That was a pretty hard game." <laughs> so you guys are number one in the nation in uh, penalties. Okay. Uh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. Congratulations. Uh, what is what seem to be maybe the recurring theme? You know, what what's happening that, that's causing you guys to be penalized? Are they just some tough calls, or what do you guys um, say? Well, you know, I, I didn't know we were the number one penalized team, so I, I don't have an answer for that. Um, I know there's probably a few things we need to fix, but I can tell you why we're the most penalized. Does it feel like a lot when you're out there? Is that just kind of part of the game? Um, yeah, I mean, we just... We might get set back for you know whatever penalty, but you know we just got to keep on going, so we don't focus on it too long.